Hello and welcome back to WWE 2K20 Universe Mode and we are here on Monday Night Raw and as you can see in the ring right now we have Baron Corbin taking on Sami Zayn and this is a match in the WWE Championship Tournament. The winner of this match will go on to face Kevin Owens next week. But later on in the show, in our main event, we will have the last of our first round matches. AJ Styles taking on Shinsuke Nakamura. And after last week's incident between the Iconics and Becky Lynch and Ember Moon, where the Iconics managed to get a huge upset victory pinning Ember Moon, this week we will have Peyton Royce one-on-one -on -one with Ember Moon. Back to the match at hand here. Sami Zayn is clearly going to be the underdog in this match. Baron Corbin, so big and oversized, just standing over Sami. Oh, but a huge drop kick, Sami getting him off his feet. Of course, Baron Corbin is a Golden Gloves winner. So Sami really wants to avoid those punches and not give any himself. Those punches are just going to knock him clean out. Sami Zayn picking him up. And for another huge drop kick. Baron Corbin trying to roll out the ring and Sammy playing to his crowd, playing to his adoring fans. Baron Corbin though throwing Sammy outside of the ring. Oh. Of course Baron doesn't care how he wins this match. Winning by count out. Just destroy Sammy Zayn on the outside and just get back in the ring. Baron Corbin does not care just wants to win that WWE Championship so he has more money in his pocket. That's all he cares about. Whereas Sami Zayn runs Sami for Syria. He plans to give all the money he earns to charity. That is what he wants to do. He wants to earn this WWE Championship to do better for the people and he just cut open Baron Corbin's head. Baron Corbin is now bleeding. It's a good sign for Sami Zayn in this match. But of course, whoever wins this match has to go on to face Kevin Owens next week. And if you didn't see last week's Raw, Kevin Owens utterly dominated Johnny Gargano. He didn't even go down. Johnny Gargano was throwing punch after punch and Kevin Owens would not go down. He refused and absolutely obliterated Johnny Gargano. Who knows what will happen if Sammy and Kevin face off next week. Sammy and Kevin being best friends, of course. They have such a history together. But then you have Baron Corbin. If you had Baron versus Kevin, you'd have to think Kevin wouldn't be able to stand those punches as well. Those punches would definitely knock him down with Baron Corbin being a former Golden Gloves winner. But Sammy Zayn just hit the blue thunderbomb in the ring. Is this going to be enough to pin the Baron Corbin? One. Two. No, Baron Corbin's still in this match. He's not going to give up that easily. Sami Zayn throwing him into the corner, getting ready for that halluva kick. No, he's going. Oh, he's going for the DDT through the ropes. Get setting up for it. Getting ready for the run-up. And through he goes, showing off some of those teachings he learned from El Generico back in the day. Sami Zayn just needs to get Baron Corbin back in the ring and get that pinfall on him. Oh, but Baron Corbin... Huge clothesline down to Sami Zayn, knocking him down to the floor. Baron Corbin throwing Sami Zayn in the ring. Oh, Sami Zayn tripping him up though. Sami Zayn using the advantages of being a small man there to take the tall man down to off his feet. Sami picking him up. What do you think you're going for here? Just eyeing up his opponent and then kicking him in the back. Sami Zayn needs this victory. He needs to become the champion. Oh, a huge DDT there from Sami Zayn. Going up to the top rope. What are you thinking of here? Huge elbow drops to the back of Baron Corbin. Sami Zayn really working on the back of Baron Corbin now. And as you can see on the side of his head, there is that little bit of blood from when he was cut open from that knee to the side of his head earlier on in the match. Aaron Corbin throwing Sami Zayn back in the ring. And he's setting up for it. He's calling for it. Is he going to hit it at the end of days? Oh. And he hits it. Sami Zayn is down. 
One, two, but no, Sami Zayn is still in this match. Sami is still in this match. Baron Corbin could not defeat him with the end of days. Oh, a massive snake eyes onto the corner there from Baron Corbin. What's he going for here? Oh, jamming Sami Zayn's head into the mat there. That could not be pleasant. Baron Corbin thinking he rules over everyone. He just thinks he is better than everyone else. But Sami Zayn is going to come from underneath and get this huge upset victory here over Baron Corbin. Sami picking him up. Getting Baron back to his feet so he can finish this match off going for a huge DDT. Dropping Baron Corbin on that. It's... Ooh, Sami pulling him back up again. Sammy punched to the face. And over the top he goes. Sami Zayn showing off that inner strength that he has. One, two. No, Baron Corbin is still in this match. He will not give up. As much as we all dislike Baron Corbin, we have to admit he is very good at what he does. Oh, and he's got him. That chokes Sam over the knee. Oh, Sami Zayn's back is going to be in pieces. Going for that pinfall. One, two, three. Baron Corbin has managed to defeat Sami Zayn. And I can tell you, the crowd here are not happy about this. Sami Zayn came so close. But unfortunately, didn't come close enough. And Baron Corbin moves on to next week to face off against Kevin Owens. Oh, but look at that face of Baron. He's really been through the wars today after that match with Sami Zayn. Baron Corbin versus Kevin Owens next week. And now after last week's action, we are having a one-on-one -on -one match between Ember Moon and Peyton Royce. Of course, if we didn't manage to catch last week's episode of Monday Night Raw, check out the playlist on the channel for WWE 2K20 Universe Mode and check out the past videos. And of course, subscribe and like and comment if you want to see some more. But if we didn't see it, Peyton Moon, Peyton Moon, <laughs> Peyton Royce and Billy Kay, the Iconics managed to defeat Ember Moon and Becky Lynch, two of the women who are really in a position to become the first ever Raw Women's Champion. And now this week, Ember Moon is desperate to prove herself that she is worthy of being a champion at Peyton Royce with a huge kick to the head there. Peyton just wants to prove that she is better than everyone thinks. She wants to prove that she belongs as the Raw Women's Champion. Her and Billy Kay being joint owners of the Raw Women's Championship. We also have to wonder what Becky Lynch thinks. Last week there was a little bit of dissension between Ember and Becky. Becky Lynch clearly could have saved the match for Ember Moon, but decided to wait just that extra second, which allowed Ember Moon to be down for the three count. You have to wonder what Becky Lynch and Ember Moon think about that as well. Ember Moon taking down Peyton Royce. Dropping her down on the back. Going for the pinfall there. Nope, not even a one count. Peyton Royce at the beginning of this match was really in control, but Ember Moon has now started to pull this back. She needs to prove herself. Prove that she is worthy to be the first ever Raw Women's Champion. Ember Moon going up top. Oh, a huge elbow drop, of course. Being up top is a good place for Ember. Ember enjoys those high-risk manoeuvres, especially with her finisher, the Eclipse. That massive top rope stunner destroys any opponent. And of course, she didn't manage to hit that in last week's match. And if she had, I'm sure the Iconics would not have been able to kick out of that. Peyton Royce being very cocky. And as you can see, Billy Kay is nowhere to be seen. You have to wonder what's up with that. Maybe Peyton wants to prove a point. 
proved that she can beat Ember Moon without even having Billy Kay in her corner. But you also have to know that I'm sure Billy is just waiting by the backstage area, waiting to run out if things start to look bad for Peyton Royce here. Oh, a huge stay down there by Ember. Peyton crawling over to those rows to pull herself back up. Ember just waiting for her. What's Ember thinking here? Dragging her over to the ropes. Throwing her over, going underneath, and oh, a huge Hurricane Rana. Ember picking her up. Throwing her into the corner. Oh no, we're Peyton with a big reversal there. Elbow to the face. Grabs it going for the pin. No, nope, not taking that pinning combination there. Wait a second. What? What's Becky Lynch doing out here? Has Becky Lynch come to support Ember? Ember seems to be very distracted by this. What is she doing here? Where is she? Where is Becky? Wait, what? Becky Lynch is in the ring. She's put on the disarmor on Ember Moon. Becky Lynch. What is she doing? Has she just cost this match? The Ember Moon. Is Becky Lynch scared of Ember? One. Only a one count. Becky Lynch not doing enough damage there, but what was she thinking? Coming out here trying to rip the arm off Ember Moon, only getting stopped by the referees, almost seeing her doing it. I can't believe this. What does this mean for Becky Lynch going forwards? Peyton Royce now fully in control of this match. You have to think it's almost done, but Ember Moon, no, she's still in this. Even after Becky Lynch coming out and trying to attack her, she is still in this match. Throwing Peyton Royce to the other corner. What's she going for here? Throwing her again. And, oh, a huge flying forearm there. Going for the pinfall. One. Two. No, Ember Moon not able to get that victory. I have to wonder what's going through the minds of Ember Moon now. Becky Lynch, her supposed friend. Compadre. Coming out here and just attacking. And there we go. Oh no. Peyton Royce managing to avoid out of the way. Getting out of the way of that huge eclipse. Getting the two count. Ember Moon is clearly not all there in her head right now after that attack by Becky Lynch. Peyton, huge attack to the leg. Going for the swinging kick, but Ember ducks under. Peyton trying to pick her up, but Ember not allowing it to happen. She's going through again, is she? Throwing her into the corner, getting ready for that flip into a forearm. Yes, there it is. Knocking Peyton Royce down. Can Ember hit the Eclipse? Or maybe she won't need it. One, two, only a two count there. And the moon clearly getting frustrated, not understanding what's going on. And she's calling for it, calling for that final eclipse to knock Peyton Royce out of this match. Can she do it? And there you go, down for the count. That is going to be it. One, two, three. Ember Moon with a huge victory there, despite the interference from Becky Lynch. I'm sure we're going to hear more about that in the coming weeks as the tension between Ember Moon and Becky Lynch continues to get stronger. But for tonight, Ember Moon has managed to overcome the adversity and pick up a huge win over Peyton Royce. And now we have a tag match brought out of last week's main event Battle Royal to determine the United States Champion, which of course, the insane Matt Hardy managed to win, becoming the first ever United States Champion in this universe mode. But in that match, there were clearly some tensions between Pete Dunne and Roderick Strong. And here we go, is Roderick Strong wanting in this match? He wants Pete Dunne. He wants him. Andrade getting out of that ring. It's a clear tension between Roddy and Pete, but 
Cedric Alexander was the last person eliminated and he wants that US Championship and Andrade is not happy about the way he was positioned in that match. If only he'd had Zelina Vega at, wings at ringside, he would have won that match is what he believes. And let's see what happens with this. Pete Dunne and Roderick Strong clearly with a deep personal hatred for each other after the way they have interacted. And as you can see, at ringside we have Andrade's manager Zelina Vega and one member of British Strong Style, Trent Seven, which is of course Pete Dunne, Trent Seven and Tyler Bate. Roderick Strong hitting a big backbreaker and tagging in Andrade. Andrade again in the ring, taking down Pete Dunne. Andrade has a massive potential in this company, especially with Zelina Vega in his corner. He is ready to take on anybody, whether that be through victory, through lying, cheating, or just good wrestling, we'll have to see. But he clearly has a lot of potential there and could very well be the one to take that championship from Matt Hardy. Andrade picking up Pete down there. A huge punch to the face and doing some good tag team work, splitting the ring in half, keeping Pete down in their corner of the ring. And again, quick tag to Roddy Strong. These two have never tagged together before, but the way they're acting right now, you'd think they were veterans at tag team wrestling together. Roddy Strong picking up Pete down. Huge clovering punches and elbows to the face. Oh, massive clothesline, taking him down to the floor. Going for the pinfall. One. Nope, only a one count there. Of course, Cedric desperate to get in this match. Cedric wants to prove himself. He was so close to winning that United States Championship. He was so very close. But Matt Hardy just managed to win at the end. Roddy Strong. Oh, huge punch to the face there by Cedric Alexander. Lifting up to the top rope. What's he going for here? Cedric Alexander, of course. A very flashy individual. A huge top rope takedown there from Cedric Alexander. I know it's not called a takedown, but I forgot what the move was called. So it's a takedown now. Andrade and Cedric Alexander, two men desperate to become the, become the US champion after Matt Hardy. They want to prove themselves that they can be the best in this industry. Cedric Alexander, oh, oh taking down Andrade there. Oh, a huge trouble in paradise there almost. Taking some moves from Kofi Kingston over on SmackDown. Member of the New Day. And Pete Dunn, you cannot put past Pete Dunn. He is a vicious man. He wouldn't go, he wouldn't not just rip your hand off. And he gets those teeth on your hand and just bites it off. What's Andrade setting up for here? Ooh, how very fancy and pretty there from Andrade going for the pinfall. One, two, the nope. P. Dunn kicks out Cedric, was there just in case? But he knew that P. Dunn would kick out of that. Trusting in your partner is very important and a massive kick to the face there, taking down Andrade. Tagging into Cedric Alexander. You'd have to imagine that Matt Hardy is watching this match in the back, wanting to know who his future contenders are going to be for that championship. But to be honest, if I was any of them, I would not want to get in the ring with Matt Hardy. That man is insane, delusional. You have no idea what he is going to do in that ring. One moment he may be wrestling a very normal, good, average wrestler, but then suddenly something will flip in his head. And a pinfall attempt at one, only a one count. Something will flip in his head and he is just someone completely different. He is just broken per se Cedric Alexander a huge reversal there for Roderick Strong oh knocking down both men then what's he going for over the top rope or oh, a massive leg drop on Roddy Strong's head 
Cedric Alexander is really shining in this match. He's in a very good position here. Very strong. Oh, that big knee to the face. I have to wonder whether Cedric's nose is still in place. One. Only a one count there. Of course, as we've seen by SmackDown, Roderick Strong is the only member of the Undisputed Era to be on Raw. Who knows how he's going to cope as a single star, all by himself, without his, his crew to back him up. But you never know, especially at pay-per-views when everyone's there in the same building. Roderick Strong could be very dangerous when he has those Undisputed Era boys behind him. But of course, if you miss SmackDown, go and check it out in the playlist. But the Undisputed Era were defeated in a 3-on-2 handicap match by the Street Profits. I know, unbelievable. But then, Adam Cole tried to take out Angelo Dawkins after the match. But John Cena came for the save. I can't believe it. I can't imagine where that's going to go in the future. But I'm sure Roderick Strong here has some opinions and wishes he could help. But sadly... He is stuck here on Monday Night Raw. Cedric Alexander, massive kick to the side of the head there. Picking up Roddy Strong. Oh, big slap to the chest there. Roddy whipping him out of the ring. Playing with his wristbands, calling for the end apparently. The end is coming according to Roddy. But nope, Cedric says, nope, this is not the end. This is just the beginning for Cedric Alexander. And what is Cedric calling for here? Ooh. Huge bridging suplex there. Kind of expecting something a bit more exciting. Is he going through again? This time, calling him up once more. Is Cedric going to go for it this time? Or is he going to bait and switch once more? Oh, Cedric with a massive miss there. That could be a big deal for Cedric Alexander missing that massive flying clothesline. Roddy Strong going for the tag. He needs out of this match. Get Andrade back in this match. Oh, elbow to the head, catching Andrade. And going for the pinfall. Cedric goes on to one. Two, only a two count there. Only a two count. Cedric Alexander is calling for the lumbar check. Is he going to hit it? Is this going to be it? Uh, and no. Didn't go for the lumbar check. We're going for the pinfall. One. Two. But no. Roddy Strong. Roddy Strong is just there. Not allowing this match to end. Roddy Strong really wants to prove that he is better than Pete Dunne here. He wants to prove that the Undisputed Era is better than British Strong Style. He wants to prove who the better faction is and Roddy Strong is back in this ring. And he's ready to take down Cedric Alexander and get a win for his team one. Only a one count there. I'm surprised we haven't seen Selena Vega get more involved in this match. Just there on the outside, and ooh, it was almost like Roddy Strong's version of a lumbar check there. He's going for the pin for one, two. No, Cedric Alexander still in this match. Roderick Strong hitting Cedric with his own move. What absolute dastardly behaviour there from Roderick Strong. But it is very in his style, because of course he... Oh, oh Roddy's going to be feeling that kick in the morning. Goodness me. But as I was saying, that really fits Roddy's style because he is the messiah of the backbreaker. He will take you down and he will break you over his knee. But Cedric Alexander really showing off in this match. Really doing a great job. We could probably use a, a tag with Pete Dunne now. He's been in this match for quite a long time at this point. Bridging suplex, but not going for the pinfall. Is he going to go for the tag though? Picking up Roddy, not interested in the tag. He wants to prove that he is the best man here. The lumbar check. Cedric hitting it back on Roddy. Is he going to go for that pinfall? It's got to be over. One, two. No, but Andrade is here. Andrade is here for the save. Saving this match for his team. 
Huge super kick there. Taking down Roderick Strong. Dropping in with an elbow. Cedric Alexander is on fire. You can see some really big things for this man in his future. What's he going for here? And oh, dropping him face first into the mat. Going for the pinfall. One. Two. Nope, only a two count there. Sedgwick needs to get that tag into Pete Dunne. He really does. What's he going for here? He's going for another one. Another lumbar check there to Roderick Strong. But Andrade is still just there. He should have done it. Two. And three. Andrade breaks it up again. Cedric, what are you doing? Roderick, Roderick drops. Roderick drops. <laughs> Roderick ducks is what I meant to say. He's going for, he's trying to get that pin, that pin. He's trying to get that tag there. This match has been going on too long. My words are getting all mixed up. Roddy not allowing Cedric to get that tag to Pete Dunne. What's Roderick looking for here? Oh no, Cedric's on the other side. That's it. Oh, massive leg to the face. And Cedric posing over the body of Roderick Strong. You know, all that damage he's done to him. Roderick Strong's back is just in pieces of taking those two massive lumbar checks. And he's out of the ring. Cedric pulled down the ropes and Roderick has gone flying. Pete Dunn standing their hand out. And Cedric ignores him. Cedric completely ignoring his tag team partner. I think Pete Dunne's in a bit of disbelief that Cedric Alexander would just ignore him like that. Cedric having some technical issues right now. But Roddy has solved those technical issues, throwing him back in the ring. What's he going for here? Cedric throws him over. A huge uppercut there from Cedric Alexander. Posing in front of Pete Dunn. This is a very cocky attitude here from Mr. Cedric Alexander. It's not what I was expecting at all. To be fair, he is a young upstart. Cedric Alexander is looking to make his name in this place. And maybe he thinks this is the way to do it. To win this match without any help from Pete Dunn now. Andrade once again breaking up the pinfall. I think that's Cedric's inexperience showing. He does, he's not knocking Andrade off the ring open before going for the pin. It's really causing him a lot of issues here. It's something that he needs to learn. He needs to learn to work as a team. Roddy now taking advantage of this, but no Cedric again. Picking up and knocking him down to the ground. Cedric is feeling this. He's feeling exhausted now. But he's pumping up. He's not going to let Roddy Strong get the better of him. What's he looking for here? Grabbing Roddy. Knee on the back. And those ropes all twisted up. Oh. And again. Just posing in front of Pete Dunne. What is going on here? Cedric Alexander clearly has some form of issue with British Strong Style. You know, he's just posing to the audience. Don't you understand? There is still a match going on here, Cedric. You can't just be like this. Just showing off. I think he thinks that he's got this one at any point he wants. So he just keeps posing to his crowd. And again. But also towards Pete Dunne and British Strong Star are not going for that tag. Cedric Alexander, what has happened to this man? I think this is going to backfire through. I think he's going to end up losing because of not communicating with his partner. One, two. Cedric managing to get out of that somehow. Is he going for the tag finally? No. Roderick Strong, big reversal there. Managing to cut open Cedric Alexander. Is Cedric going to go for it? Is he finally going to go for it? Oh. And Pete Dunne is back in this match. 
but Cedric would only tag at the point where he was desperate. He just got cut open by Roderick Strong and he was desperate to get in. Beat done. One, two, three. Oh no, Roddy kicked out. Roddy kicked out before Andrade got there. How on earth did Roddy do that? His back is just shattered after taking two, maybe three lumbar checks and then being dropped like that by Pete Dunn. He is not in a good place. Roderick Strong desperate to do this though. One, only a one count there. Pete Dunn, of course, is a very fresh man in this match right now. But if you look at the corner, Cedric is not there. Cedric's gone. He's not on the corner anymore. This is really Roddy and Andrade's time to pick up the victory here while Cedric is not there. What's Roddy going for here? Cedric getting back up on his feet. I can see him going for the pin for one, two. But no, Cedric Alexander just there in time to break up that pinfall there. Roddy picking up Pete Dunn. Of course, tension between these two. And as I've mentioned many times during this match, it's really heating up between these two. Oh goodness, if you look at Broderick Strong's health bar, he has a purple back. That is a really dangerous place for Roddy Strong to be. I, I don't understand how he's still going in this match. He needs to get to a hospital. He needs to go and get his back checked. He, he could end up after this match with a broken back. But it's been an amazing performance. But he reversed. He managed to reverse Pete Dunne's finisher there. Not allowing the bitter end to happen to Roderick Strong. Roderick Strong picking him up. What's he going for here? Now Pete Dunne, massive reversal once more. Taking down Roddy, kick to the back. Oh my goodness, Roderick Strong's poor back. I feel like Andrade hasn't been in this match for about 10 years now. Pete Dunne going for the tag. See, Pete Dunne knows how to work like a tag team. He works as a tag team. He works as part of British Strong style. And a lumbar check by Roddy Strong again. Two. No, but Pete Dunne just there. If Roderick Strong manages to win this match somehow, I will be incredibly surprised. But if he can get that tag to Andrade, who is super fresh right now, they could do this. They could win this match. And Cedric going for the tag. Surprising, going for the tag with Pete Dunne this time. I think Cedric is scared of Roddy now. After those lumbar checks, I think Cedric doesn't want to Cedric doesn't want to lose this match. If anyone's going to lose in this match from his team, he would much rather be Pete Dunne than himself, to be honest. Roddy Strong gouging at those eyes of Pete Dunne. That is not a nice place to be. And he picks him up. And drops him down on his back. Pete Dunne. Oh, no. Roddy Strong ducks underneath it. Roddy really needs to get that tag. Oh, and a massive move over the knee of Roddy Strong. Roddy, tag. Going for the pin for one. Two. Cedric breaks it up. Roddy, tag. No, not going to tag. He's insane. A knee to the face from Roderick Strong. And he's posing. Posing over Pete Dunne. He wants... To destroy Pete Dunne. He wants to beat him in the middle of this ring. Is he going for it? Oh, a huge gut buster from Roddy Strong. They're going for the pin. One, two. Pete Dunne kicks out. That wasn't Cedric Alexander's doing. Pete Dunne kicked out there. Pete Dunne missed his kick. Roddy Strong's got him. Over the knee once more. How is Roddy still going in this match? He is a crazy man. Destroying Pete Dunne and posing. He's standing over the body of Pete Dunne. And once again, targeting that back. Roddy wants to break the back of Pete Dunne. I can't believe this. Wondering Strong, the man who was cleared. Oh! Hitting. 
again. One, two. The beat done. I, I just can't believe this at this point. I think Roddy might be losing his mind slightly. This match has just been crazy. But Roddy, please, just tag to Andrade. Andrade is getting paid to just stand on the apron right now. He's been there for however long. And Pete Dunne is... I think this is Pete Dunne's version of posing, to be honest. He's trying to pose over Roddy, and there you go. Pulling his arms down to his face. He's proving that he can destroy Roddy. Roderick Strong reverses again. Oh my goodness. And Pete Dunne busted open now. And Andrade finally, finally is in this match. Oh. There are they picking up Pete down on the outside and smashing him down onto the floor, doing more damage to that back which has been targeted by Mr. Roddy Strong. But was it worth it? I I don't think it was worth it for Roddy. Roddy is gonna be in such bad condition after this match. I'm sure he's done a lot of damage to Pete Dunn and to Cedric Alexander, but Roddy Strong may be not able to wrestle for a few weeks after this. Andrade. No, Pete Dunn with a big reversal there. Over the wall. DDT dropping him down on his head. Pete Dunn picking him up. Oh, tossing Andrade over the top rope. One. Not going for the counter. Pete Dunne is out there to go and get Andrade. Trying to kick him, but Andrade reverses. Oh, more targeting the back with a huge suplex there. Andrade throws Pete Dunne in the ring. These men are desperate to prove something. Desperate to prove. Who is the better man? Who is worthy of being the next United States Champion? Well, I shouldn't say next United States Champion. Who is worthy of going in the ring with a lunatic like Matt Hardy? Andrade going for the snake eyes. Doing more damage to Pete Dunne's head. Working on that chest and back of Pete Dunne there from Andrade. He picks him up. And he's going for the hammerlock. Hammerlock DDT and he is down. Pete Dunne is out for the count. One, two, no. Sedge goes on, but he doesn't get there in time. Andrade and the Ruddy Strong have won this match. And yes, roll ours all the way, people. Roll ours. I can't believe after that match that Andrade was the fresh man. He was the only one who was not in that match for about. 10 years. Andrade has clearly put himself in a big position there. And this just in next week on Monday Night Raw, we will be having a number one contenders match between Andrade and Cedric Alexander, where the winner will go on to face Matt Hardy at the pay per view. Andrade, Roddy Strong standing tall. But what cost for Roderick Strong? His back may be destroyed right now. But I'm sure it's not over between him and Pete Dunn and the rest of British Strong Style yet. And now after that insane tag match, we're here for our main event. AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. And of course, this is part of the WWE Championship Tournament. Whoever wins this match in two weeks, we'll go on to face Finn Balor to decide who will go on to the pay-per-view to face for the WWE Championship. And of course, these two men here and Finn Balor all have a huge history 
with New Japan Pro Wrestling and have a huge history with each other. Both AJ and Finn Balor have both been leaders of the Bullets Club over there, whereas Shinsuke Nakamura was a member of Chaos as a rival to AJ Styles and a huge taking him down there. One count there from Sin Shinsuke Nakamura. That was totally intentional. <laughs> and Shinsuke picks up AJ Styles. You have to wonder whether these two men are feeling a bit intimidated right now. They've just come out after that insane tag match. I don't know whether they can live up to that, to be honest. But let's see. Let's see if they can live up to that massive match we just saw. Shinsuke throwing AJ Styles into the corner. AJ landing a big DZT. And speaking of that last match, we were able to catch up with Matt Hardy, our current United States Champion backstage. But all he did was laugh in our face when we asked him what he thought of that match and what he thought about the number one contenders match next week between Andrade and Cedric Alexander. He just laughed in our face who knows what's going on in that lunatic's brain but AJ Styles going from a phenomenal forearm so early in this match this is going to be a very quick one one two no Shinsuke Nakamura kicks out Shinsuke Nakamura is not going to lose that easily to AJ Styles come on these two men are both legends I was going to say in the making, but they are already at the point where they are legends in their field. AJ Styles has done everything in his career. Shinsuke Nakamura taking him over. Shinsuke is ready. That charismatic attitude. He wants to defeat AJ Styles here. One. No. Shinsuke Nakamura hasn't got it yet. AJ Styles still standing strong. Kinshasa! One. Two. No, AJ Styles still in this match. A phenomenal forum and a Kinshasa so far. Neither man is ready to lose just yet. AJ Styles, huge kick to the head there. Wait a second. The, the New Day, who are on SmackDown. I don't know why the New Day are here right now. Um, hi Kofi <laughs> Kofi Kingston he, he definitely shouldn't be here right now he is a Smackdown superstar he does not belong on Raw and wait a second Shinsuke Nakamura 1 2 no AJ Styles still in this match Kofi Kingston what is he doing here he is not supposed to be here right now and you know what, if I was AJ Styles right now, I would be absolutely furious. But what? Again? Keith Lee. <laughs> it's another SmackDown superstar, I believe. Who is, who is distracting Shinsuke Nakamura. I guess AJ Styles shouldn't be too disappointed with this one. But to be fair, Keith Lee wasn't there. I know I might sound like a bit of a conspiracy theorist here but what if the club backstage AJ's friends Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson just played a random video on the screen to distract Shinsuke Nakamura but Nakamura avoiding the phenomenal forearm there and he's setting up for his calling AJ he's going for it again a middle row Kinshasa no AJ nope AJ says nope to the Kinshasa one two three and AJ Styles Managing to defeat Shinsuke Nakamura there. After a very, very confusing match, it has to be said. AJ Styles standing tall and moving forward in the WWE Championship Tournament. But Kofi Kingston, Keith Lee, what does this mean? We will have to wait to find out.
But wait a second, Finn Balor has come down to the ring to face off with his opponent in two weeks' time for the WWE Championship Tournament. But wait a second, AJ Styles over the top, taking down Finn Balor, picking him up. And what's he going for here? What is he going to do? He's going to throw Finn Balor into those steel steps. And AJ Styles is walking away, knowing that he is going to win that WWE Championship.